And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sharanza OTK. This is a one turn kill deck with Draven and Riven and Shivana. And we are going to have uh, another exciting thing. Not only is this deck exciting, but another exciting thing is that we are going to be using Cosmic Exile Riven for the very first time. If you haven't seen the new alternate art um, skin, I guess that's what they call them. For Riven, it looks really, really sweet. And so it's going to be our first time using Cosmic Exile Riven in, our, in this deck. But about it, um, this is a deck that uh, definitely relies on both champions and Shiraza to be winning the game. And then back them up with a ton of spells. We're going to be having like the Flurry of Fists be able to grant your uh, units Quick Attack. And, um, and then if they have Quick Attack already, give them Double Attack. The double attack is really important thing. And then we have Might, give them Overwhelm. So we, we want like double attack Overwhelm with our uh, three finishers, our two champions, and Shiraza. If you don't know about Shiraza, Shiraza is a 3-3, vanilla 3-3, but it does double damage to the Nexus if it hits the Nexus. And so that's why having things like Overwhelm means that it's going to do uh, um, you know double that damage to the Nexus. Now this deck did get a new trick in the latest expansion. We got Syncopation where we get to swap two allies. So if we attack with multiple allies, and there's one ally that's not blocked, like maybe a Blade Squire. People don't usually like to block Blade Squire that much, so maybe they just let Blade Squire be unblocked. And then we can Syncopation and switch them, and then put, make it so like the Shiraz is not blocked. And maybe have the Shiraz have double attack. And now it's double attack, it's not blocked, it does double damage to the Nexus. You know, we get to just do a bunch of little cheeky stuff like that. That's what our deck's all about. We're of course going to be reforging the different um, blade, the different blades uh, with Riven. The you know, like the first blade, like you can have a blade that gives quick attack to Shiraza, so that the flurry can give double attack. There's also the overwhelm and the the buff blade and all that kind of stuff. We also have survival skills to help protect our um, big threats with you know our two champions, our Shiraza being our big threats, and we should have. You know, like, Survival Skills works great with Draven when you have the Spinning Axes. If you don't have Draven, it's not as good. But we should have Draven quite a bit, because not only do we have the three Dravens, we also have three of Draven's biggest fan that also helps us find Draven. So we should hopefully have Draven most of every game. All right, but let's go ahead and give this a try. We're going to go play five games in Raked with Shiraza OTK. Ooh, playing against Super Aggro. Uh, which can be faster than us because we're kind of like a combo deck, but we'll see. Maybe they don't really have the tools to stop us. I kind of like everything in this hand. And so we'll have Draven and Riven, and then we'll have Might Elixir. We could certainly mulligan Might Elixir. Right, like we can mulligan the spells. We're definitely keeping the two units. Let's get rid of the Elixir Wrath. Ooh, found a Draven. So you may think that that like Draven's just kind of a waste, but it's just fine. It just basically means that we you know draw a random card instead of drawing Draven. So it's like if this top card was gonna be Draven anyway, we would have had a random card from the uh, from just from the Mulligan, and so it looks like that random card would have been Shiraza. So yeah, definitely look. We're probably looking for Flurry of Fists for the double attack. That's probably the most important card right now, because Draven's going to have the quick attack. I have the best job. When will I find peace? Got axes, need victims. Playing Riven, because Riven's the, the best blocker, but of course, I like playing Riven on their attack turn, so that uh, we get the Blade Fragment right here. Okay, so we're going to try to kill them next round. How much is Shiraza Flurry is 4, 7, but double damage, double attack? Okay, so if I play Draven this round, that means we save 3 spell mana. Next turn we play Shiraza. I guess we can also play the Blade Squire, because then we'll have our three spell mana. So then the future turn, we'll have six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have nine mana. So we'll have enough for Might, Flurry, and then three other mana. So we can have like three Blade Fragments or something. It's Draven. All right, that all sounds pretty good. Well, hey there, good looking. 
They are passing. While this is a good attack, I kind of like them just passing and not not putting anything else on the board. <laughs> Whirling Death could be a huge problem from their side. If their plan is Whirling Death my Shiraza, that's kind of bad for me. We have our own Whirling Death. You should try blinking sometime. Yeah, so both Get Excited and Whirling Death are two options they have to stop my Shiraza. Get Excited is really likely now they have the Jinx in play. And for how slow they played it. Yeah, so we need, we need survival skills. Yep, that's the card that we need. Finally. Yep, that's a good call. Alright, let's draw survival skills. Cosmic, Exile, Riven, Luck. Here it is, survival skills. Ow. Not quite, not quite. So, I guess I'm patient and just attack here and here. I sense their power. And then basically we're going to play out another blocker. Next round be able to deep meditation. Look for survival skills with deep meditation and try again the, this following round. Because I don't think okay. we're quite dead right now. Now we're cooking. They had their own survival skills. That was their plan. I, I think it's just really likely that one of these cards is... is either... It's... I would be very surprised if one of these cards is not Get Excited or Whirling Death. Whenever that's both like the two champion spells and like they also play three Get Exciteds. So like it, like if I would have attacked with the Shiraz also and tried to go in on the Shiraz, I, I just can't really imagine that I would have survived. Or like that Sh Shiraz would have survived. I guess, so as far as survival skills go, Shiraza is bigger than Draven? Question mark? Got an axe with your name on it. I assume this hits Shiraza. Time for the yeah. Money. This takes out both of their champions. You're gonna need a dad dad. You suck. But I kind of expect them to play more champions now. Yeah, 
Yeah. If I would have gone... Yep, yeah, they had Draven, so yeah, if I would have gone for it... They were acting like they did, and so we would have definitely just got blown out if I would have tried to play all these cards last round. Yeah, they had both champions. Yeah, so we, we would have certainly been dead. But now... Now they're, like, out of cards. So now there's just the one card left. Okay, so now I think we got this, unless they top deck get excited. Alright, is it better to put the blade on the ribbon? Where's this blade going? Because if it goes on, if we put it on the ribbon, then they have to draw it Whirling Death. We'll put it on the Shiraza. They can draw get excited or Jinx or There's Whirling so Death. Alright, how much damage is this ribbon doing? So six. Double it, twelve. Yeah, it's it's enough to kill them. Alright, we're going on the ribbon. It's plenty enough to kill them. The time for talk is over. Well, I can't play all three of these. That's fine. Alright, so that is 14. So they have to do something. Ball's in their court. go. And so then if they if they did have Whirling Death, then we would be able to Elixir and Might the Shiraza, which should kill them also. I know what I must do. Or, I, I don't know if it exactly killed them, but it probably did. Yeah, it had to have, right? Alright, we got another burn deck. No champion. I could see keeping Whirling Death as just a good defensive tool since it kind of gives us a turn to set up. Yeah, Whirling Death seems actually kind of good. Well, Whirling Death's better than the rest of these cards, <laughs> so I'm glad we kept it. But, you know, like if they have multiple things to block. I guess it could, this could be Concurrent Timelines. Okay, yeah, I thought this was aggro. I thought this was like Doom Beast Burn, like Doom Beast, Kyrian, uh, Kyrian Sump Works. I was born in battle and raised by war. And you always brag about it. Shiraza or nah? Is it Shiraza or open attack? Coming in hot. Oh, Shiraza. I sense their power. Now you're talking. Oh, rough. Oh, ouch. Glad I have this whirling death. Dang. You will not break me. Down to six. That was a great miss call. To 
So it's nice to have the overwhelm. Violence to end violence. Yeah, this is not amazing. This will put me to one. One's not dead. You gotta hope they can't do one point of damage, which they're playing PNZ and everything. You gotta think that they have like the burn, you know, the burn to finish me out. But if they don't, we can easily kill them with Draven next round. Right? Like, so we can easily kill them next round. But yeah, you gotta imagine it's Doom Beast and stuff like that. This went too wide for us, too aggressive. They had, like, <laughs> so many good miss rates. Okay. Zoe Shivana really insoles a great deck. It's not going to be easy. Let's just send back all the spells. All right, double whirling death. This is awesome. Yeah, and I think I think our opponent's really good. I, I recognize this name. I know we played against this opponent a bunch. So I think we were playing against a very good opponent with a really good deck and with lots of card styles and everything. <laughs> this is uh, it's scary. So I can't actually attack, right, because of Sharp Sight. The fight just isn't Bono has a perfect hand, especially if that's Sharp Sight. Like, that's the perfect first six mana. Blue Sentinel, Dragon Lieutenant, Sharp Sight, and then Siobhan on four. So it doesn't look good. So this is why I didn't just like play both like Whirling Deaths right away or anything like that or try to just go level up, you know, Draven or anything like that. Just keeps their Lieutenant alive. Yeah, if I, if I would have gone all in and, you know, like, put the spinning axe on the Draven and then do the two whirling deaths to try to level up Draven, like, we would have gotten really blown out by that single combat. I'm worried they just don't block.
but we do want Draven to be a 4-4 against 3-2 Lieutenant. You know, now they may block because it's 5, but... Man, because they're also a hush deck. Gross. Eclipse Dragon. I was born in battle, you know, it's slammed. I guess they can't play really until next round because they'll lose a mana gem. How oh, they got the extra mana gem, they're going to lose them. So we certainly kill them if they don't have. Like, do I just go all in? But, it, like, if they. You know, I could go all in, but then if they have Hush, Concerted Strike, Single Combat, anything like that, we lose. But I can do... I can make Draven attack for 28. So Overwhelm, for which, you know, they could block 7. Like, that's 21. Let's do this. Violence to end violence. Hilt pre-combat? I'm sorry, I ran out of time thinking about that. You, you think I should help, uh, Hilt pre-combat? To get a quick attack and then try to quick attack this okay maybe i was supposed to do that okay that's good to know the fight just isn't the same without you anna i am always here when you need me okay so that's that's what i should be going for there is try to find quick attack and try to have two different flurry of fist targets gotcha Ooh, love the syncopation. Love that. That's good protection. Two arms. They are nothing. They just have five cards left. Playing the backup ribbon. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. So let's see what we can do. Like just attacking for seven, they just take it. So I have to incentivize them to block. There is surrender and there is life. I will live. So this is ten. Like they just take ten. Like if I'm them, I'm just taking ten. Yeah, I just have to commit. All right, I guess I'd I'd use the spinning axe also on the Draven to put him down to one, or you know, I I need to make it lethal, I guess. Yeah, I didn't commit enough. Yep. I thought that that would... 
necessitate a block, they'd be worried, but with star shaping in hand, they're not as worried. Why is my opponent so smart in playing star shaping? So many, like, none, like, basically all these dragon decks we've been playing against recently, nobody plays star shaping. My opponent, my opponent's too smart. They're too smart. Yeah, I'd, I'd, yep, I wanted to wait on Flurry. Definitely worried about. Well, I guess I'm not necessarily dead. What are you waiting for? I don't know, man. Really just needed some tape to reassemble. There's still much to answer for. Time for the money makers. That's my best play. I hope no spells. Spells. I didn't commit enough. Did not commit enough. Put them down to 16 when they're at 17. Need to play that other spinning axe. Yeah, they, they played that perfectly. They never blocked. They had a great, great hand. We talked about like the first four turns were perfect. And they were playing star shapings. So they just played that perfectly. So, GG's opponent. So, weapon hilt's always gone. Gonna keep the rest. I like Whirling Death. It's again, another aggro matchup. So, I like... If we, as we've seen, we just don't block at all. Very well. If I don't play the 2-1, I still can't have them, you know, I still don't have the mana for Whirling Death next round anyway. Merciless Hunter. That pass is Merciless Hunter. So we're gonna level up Draven. Got an axe with your name on it. Let's see. Got a rock with your name on it. Carry your own gear. The real like the thing is is. 
Do I discard? Do I just discard survival skills now? When it doesn't do anything. I don't want to, but I want to. All, but I also want to level up Draven. I guess I have to. You think I discard Might? I guess we could discard Might. Time for the money makers. Yeah, I guess we can. Because that level up, that level of the Draven is just so important. And then we get to keep the spinning axe to be able to protect. Alright, we'll see. You know, we don't have the might now to buff it up, but we have leveled up Draven, so. What's my name? They're only down to three cards. Someone. Yeah, I only have one card, <laughs> effectively. They don't have a launch. I'm pretty sure everybody can get past you. Like, you don't do anything to keep people from not getting past you. That Merciless Hunter that I mentioned before. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. All right, so seven, nine. Oh, that's not as good. Down to one. Easy peasy. Yeah, because that saved six life. Yeah, that's just my best line. I could, like, you know, I could... Whirling Death, two of these, save nine life. So I'd go to four, but then obviously I don't have any threats left whatsoever. So I think this is my best line. If I if I kill five three and cast the other Draven, I'm dead. I can't do that. I I die. I take lethal damage because of the overwhelm with the Ruin Runner. There's not a scenario where I could, I have to cast both of the Whirling Deaths to stay alive. There's no there's no other scenario. Can't give that Shroud's overwhelm. All right, so we have one, two, three extra damage on this Draven, so we can only attack for seven. Yeah, why'd you... Oh, why'd you say, sh where are you, Shiraza, Zoe? Because, yeah, we can't... Shiraza's a dead draw. It doesn't do anything. We didn't want to draw Shiraza there. We need to draw a spell. Like, basically, any any pump spell. We didn't need Shiraza. Yeah, Shiraza's a dead draw. Draven. Yeah, deep meditation. Yeah, that's what we needed to draw. Not not sure how we need deep. Yeah, deep meditation would have been perfect. Okay, so we got um, what has to be a horrible matchup: Draven Ezreal. This has to be a terrible matchup. Yeah, so we need yeah we need survival skills. That makes sense. I was thinking, like, we just don't have enough threats, but we do have Deep Meditation. Join the hunters, they say. All right, so yeah, survival skills, that's what we need. The words of power linger in the air. Rade, ah.
The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. I was born in battle and raised by war. Uh, not quick attack. There is the survival of the skills. Quick attack would allow me to attack both of these. Survival skills does not protect that. Alright, so there was the quick attack blade. Hmm, weapon hilt is not good. Don't blink or you miss me. I write the rules of power. I don't miss. Not looking good. Firing. Not looking good at all. Yeah, whatever. Quick attack and overwhelm. I won't look back. Let's go. Survival skills. There we go. Just have to go all in and survive. Yeah, survival skills is clutch because it doesn't matter how many other removal spells they have. Um, we, you know, we got like those extra plus two plus zeros, which helps out. Got it. All right, so there we go. So that's the Shiraza OTK deck. Uh, impressive against the Draven Ezreal, and maybe that's the kind of matchup you want to face because it showed how good survival skills is. Because you, with, survival skills just allows you just to go all in and not really worry about them using a removal spell. Um, so, you know, like, you, you don't want to face, like, Targon with Hush. That's what you don't want to see. Also, like, the real fast aggro decks can go underneath you, and we saw that a couple of times of just other decks just going wide. And we, we really struggled with anything that, any opponents that went wide. I'm not sure if there's anything to do about that. Maybe you just kind of just, you know, lose, they just go wide. Um, it would be great to have, like, a Judgment, right? Like, just like a one-of Judgment in here would be awesome against those decks that are just trying to go wide. But obviously that's in a different region. I don't know if there's, there's not really anything like it. Um, that would be really nice to have as a one of, as far as I know. But, um, you know, like maybe, you know, like maybe just like one weapon hilt and then like one like awesome defensive card against go wide decks. But I don't think Noxus Ionia really has that. So, so we just kind of have to go all in and hope they don't have that kind of stuff. Um, we didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Syncopation, but I like it. I think it's a, a pretty decent three of. Obviously, we had the Flurry Might combo. Um, this is the kind of deck that... This is not an easy deck to pilot. 
And this was my first time playing it, of course. Um, this is one that you will get better. Like, if you pick it up and you don't have, like, the best win rate immediately, that's okay because you're, you're going to make mistakes of, like, how to sequence all these cards and everything and what to look for and what your opponents are doing. This is the kind of deck that the, you know, like, practice is going to make you a lot better with this kind of deck. So um, if you want to pick it up, go ahead. Like, this, this list looked pretty good and it, it looked pretty powerful. Um, but, you know, just realize, you know, like I went two and three right there and maybe, you know, who knows, maybe I could have done a little bit better, like maybe that dragon matchup or something. But, um, you know, keep keep practicing with it, keep working on it. And uh, this is a deck has some ridiculous power, like especially like you saw like that last game, right? Like my opponent couldn't do anything about it. We just had um, turn six, I think that was that we just have like a Riven attacking for 20 something and they can't really do anything about it. But anyway, that's going to be it here for Shiraza OTK. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, also hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. You know, if you do try it out yourself or anything like that, I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.